And we're back with the second part of the finale, that, or premiere. <laughs> wow, I screwed that up. Second part of the premiere that is not actually a second part of the premiere. It's the second episode that premiered as the season 7 premiere. That is not a continuation of the last one, I don't think. <laughs> wow, this that is the worst worst opening I think I've ever had. Whatever. Um, so, episode 2 of season 7, All Bottled Up is the title, and... I know it's a. Tr- I know it has Trixie in it, and I really like that Starlight and Trixie are basically becoming main characters at this point. I love that Trixie is just awesome. Um, but I don't know what in what capacity this this all is um, because, like, I seen a thumbnail that had random ponies with red eyes, like glowing red eyes, and it it uh, made me think of the Alicorn amulet. And maybe this has something to do with everybody's, like, feelings about that incident. Um, just, uh, like, one of the show's biggest strengths, I feel like, is that they can take old episodes that already had a lot of meaning to them and then bring in elements from those and just make a new story that is that just adds even more layers and more meaning to it. Like, um, like Amending Fences, of course, being the best example taking one little moment from the pilot episode and turning it into an entire character story bit that was just one of the better episodes of season five. So, yeah, I'm excited to see what they have going on here. I'm not sure it'll top the very first episode, but hey, we'll see. And we'll start the episode in three, two, one, play. The castle! Come on, come on! Turn into a teacup! Oh. Has Starlight been teaching her magic? No! No, Starlight! I can't put a trick that's not working into my act. How come it's not working? It could be because you're just yelling teacup and not picturing it in your mind. Oh. Yeah, that could be it. What does your teacup look like? What shape is it? What color? <gasps> ah! Oh my god, that was adorable. Oh! And now she's going overboard with it. You know what you need? A teacup. What the? Oh. Whoops. I guess I pictured a teacup poodle. <laughs> Trixie, you ruined my tea cakes. I just got excited. This is the first time I did a transfiguration spell. Real magic. <laughs> Come on, be impressed by me. Yay, Trixie! You're so great at magic and Um <laughs> Good job, Trix. But I was baking these to give to Twilight and the girls for their friendship retreat. Pinkie Pie gave me a recipe and everything. Oh, you need some snacks to give to Twilight? <laughs> I've got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's different. Huh. Okay. I'm now thinking that in Equestria, if ponies bottle up their feelings, it turns into negative dark magic that can negatively affect everyone around you. So yeah, I'm also not seeing like anything different about this intro. Compared to season six, and that's kind of disappointing. Except for that logo at the end, which does look pretty cool. I'm gonna have to find that logo to put into my actual videos. So friendship retreat. So Where are they going? For this friendship retreat. 
I can't remember the last time we all got to hang out without having to save Equestria. Well, we are awesome, but technically we weren't the last ponies to save Equestria. Okay. I was Seriously. Thinking in a broader sense. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I have three new comics to get through. And I promised Trixie we'd practice more magic. It might be better if the castle was empty, if you know what I mean. Ugh, relax. If anything breaks, Starlight will just go back in time and fix it. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, she... Take good care of the castle. Have <sighs> fun on your friendship retreat. What in Equestria is a friendship retreat anyway? They're gonna bond, sure loves. And if I know them, they're gonna sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna have so That's more fun than pretty that. true. <laughs> Twilight, wait! Starlight has something for you. Huh? <laughs> Here, I am. Um, brought you snacks. Oh, how thoughtful. Thanks. We will not get hungry on the train. It was supposed to be tea cakes, but. It's a long story. Have a great time! You too! This is gonna end badly, but... This is weird. But yeah, friends okay. can annoy you. What kind of spells did you want to work on next? Well, every self-respecting magician has a disappearing act, so maybe we could start with that? Hmm, nothing just disappears, so that's technically a teleportation spell, and those are pretty hard. Maybe we should start with something smaller. <laughs> no, 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 no. The great and powerful Trixie goes big or not at all. Just tell me how you do it. Well, I've always found magic is tied to my emotions. Whatever I'm feeling fuels whatever I'm doing. And when you're feeling frustrated, confused, bottled up, and angry. Right. Like when you were so upset that cutie marks took away your friend, your magic was strong enough to enslave an entire village. Um, Thanks for bringing that that's up. not cool. See, I'm already learning. If any pony is going to teach me how to do a disappearing spell, teleportation spell, <laughs> whatever, I'm complimenting you and me. We can do this because we're amazing and magic is friendship and stuff. <laughs> I guess we can give it a whirl. Now, we just need to find you something to teleport. No! Spike! How bad it? <laughs> Uh, let's pick something, I don't know, not living? Yes. I mean, it won't be as impressive, but okay. Teach away, Mini Twilight. Mini Twilight. <laughs> Welcome to Manhattan Escapes. <laughs> I'm going to start with a facial and then get my hooves done. Oh, it's not that kind of retreat. Isn't it called Manhattan Escapes because it's a deluxe spa? Oh, is this like an escape room type thing? It's because we get locked It really is. Oh. Will lead you to a key to get out. Team building. <sighs> Come on, girls. This could be fun. Could be. Some of the brightest minds in Equestria put together these puzzles. I'm just happy to be with all of you. Me too. I'm not great at solving riddles, but I'm super great at cheering other ponies on while they do it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is awesome. group of griffins set the record for the fastest escape. It only took them an hour. <laughs> griffins barely like each other. We're basically the poster ponies for amazing friendships. So get your quill ready, bub. You're gonna have to write down a new record. <laughs> no. After this spell, before the girls get back, you'd be setting some kind of record. Challenge <laughs> accepted. Okay, what you want to do is concentrate on the object that you want to teleport... Yeah, I'm gonna go all the way over here. Good idea. Concentrate on teleporting. Got it. Doing the spell. No tricks, wait, not just. Oh, shoot. <sighs> Ta da. Wow. Where would it go? Oh, is that what we're actually calling it now? Really? Well, it was behind the apple. It was bound to happen. On the plus side, my magic is getting better. I made a whole table go poop. That was pretty impressive. 
Trixie, we have to get that map back. We'll find it, no big deal. Twilight's never gonna trust me to be alone in this castle again. What were you thinking? Teleport, like you told me to. No, you're supposed to concentrate on the object, not just teleporting. <laughs> well, gee, you probably should have told me all the steps before you let me do the spell. I tried. <gasps> I need a minute. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> He's got to wash all the new teacups. It's like. Yeah, what? Do you see this storm cloud? This has never happened before. All this magical energy has to go somewhere, and if I'm not using it to fight a magical duel or bend my friend's wills to obey my every command. Ha, I remember that. The point is, I don't know what my magic's going to do. So, I'm hoping if I bottle up my anger, I won't do who knows what to Trixie. Are you sure that Wow! Yeah. Making the metaphor literal. I like it. That's interesting. Huh. She doesn't want to hurt her friend, so she bottles it up, and then eventually it's going to explode and cause massive problems. Wow. Holy crap. Um, that is very relatable. You can make magical grenades out of it. Oh, there you are. For a minute, I didn't think you were coming back and that you might be upset with me for some weird reason. But then I remembered, you never get mad at me. Uh, nope, not mad at all. Huh. Well, this is making the ship uh, not, not exactly sink, but it's uh, got a few holes in it now. <laughs> That is a lot no of anger and frustration. Maybe that'll jog your memory. Okay, that sounds fun. Ooh, did you remember? Nope, but I did think we could stop for cinnamon nuts while we're out. Cinnamon nuts? That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah but what you're doing is definitely not. I have some experience with exploding. And this is going to be bad. Like, very, very bad. Ooh. That was stretching a little bit. But this is adorable. And Oh, uh, hello, Phillies. Uh, how can I help you? Oh, are those cinnamon nuts? Mm, yes. I got them from the cart outside. Hey, Bulk. Delicious. Do Why does Bulk have so many jobs? Magical map on it. Sometimes glowing cutie mark shoot out. Oh, big no, no. Uh, why an equestrian with something like that being here? <laughs> well, I cast a pretty amazing spell that transported it to the last place I was thinking of. But I might have been thinking about how I'd treat myself to a nice brooch instead. Uh, well, no huge table here. Uh, are you still interested in that brooch? Sure. No. We don't. Have Only as long as it's not the soul-sucking amulet. Starlight is looking more and more flustered. Look at her hair. And her exhaustion. No, nope, I ain't seen it. Are you sure? It's really, really important that we find it. <laughs> I love that Trixie is just snacking. She reminds me of uh, Tony Stark a little bit right there. They go so well with cinnamon nuts. Oh, them nuts sure do smell good. <laughs> Granny Smith, please. <laughs> But, huh? Well, my eyes ain't what they used to be, but I'd know for sure if a big old table doesn't appear out of thin air. <sighs> hmm. 
That thing is so freaky. Darn, I could have sworn it'd be at the ice cream parlor because it was warm in the castle and I thought I wanted ice cream. And, oh, maybe we should check out the Crystal Empire because Twilight's castle is made out of crystals, so I totally had crystals on my mind. Okay, we better start moving if we She didn't put it in the bottle that time, did she? Are you okay, Starlight? Because you seem a little what's the word? No, I am great. Did your saddlebag just glow? No. Give it no. They'll give it here. What's in it? Cinnamon nuts! Oh, I have had a hankering for these all day. Oh, this is not gonna end well. Oh, shoot. And now everyone is mad at Trixie. For no reason. Um, why this is cool. Okay, so nothing new with the Alicorn Amulet, but... Dealing with Trixie's annoying personality. I like that. I've seen those symbols. Over here. You can do it. Almost there. I've got the key. This is it. I'm so impressed. I'm not. I knew we were the best. You're the worst. <laughs> Great transitions in this episode. I love it. And Starlight is just like, oh, I screwed up. I screwed up so bad. I screwed up so bad. This is terrible. Twilight isn't here to see this. Yep. I wish that Starlight was here. <laughs> <laughs> so many, so rapidly. You've all taught me so much. Friendship is to make me so queasy, queasy. But you made it all so easy, easy. The song. And this is great, actually. This is a pretty cool beat. Didn't sound like Rebecca Soichet though. Aww. This is cool, actually. I'm uh, bopping around a little bit here. I know you can't see it, but. <laughs> she just ran up a tree. What the hell? I can't. I simply can't imagine that. Wow. I wouldn't want to be walking your way. Whatever new problems there may be, maybe. A friendship is always the door with the key. You are the jewels in my friendship crown. The sparks that make my world go round. Whoa, that was cool. There's so much, like, trailer material and PMV stuff right here. Is that a Moana reference? How far we'll go? <laughs> uh, this is so cool! This is a cool song! Even though there's literally no reason for there to be a song here other than to kill time. But it's... And, and to contrast the situations, but it's... That was reused animation. That was cute, but... You know the game isn't over until you turn that key. And they just wasted time with the song. <laughs> Can we do it? So close. You missed the Griffin record by two seconds. Probably shouldn't have sung that song. You're nuts! Do it again! Now you know how to do it. You can do it even faster. <laughs> That's funny. The paint and crawful Trisky is okay. Why you're all so mad at me? 
They're not. I am. You are? <sighs> I'm really mad at you. You lost Twilight's map table. You make jokes like it's no big deal. It's like you don't even care. You could get me in a lot of trouble. We can't find that table. Twilight's never going to trust me again. And the worst part is, you didn't even say you were sorry! I... Wow! Sorry. I had no that face again. That way. Yeah, I do! <sighs> but to be fair, I don't know how you could have known. I did a spell. Bottled up my anger, but when the bottle broke, it infected these three. I'm really sorry. I used magic, so I wouldn't use magic. I should have guessed that would backfire. Yeah! I like how she... Yeah, I, I, I was saying this. She's very... This is a situation quite similar to... Uh, what was it? Um... Fixed! It's so weird, but I like it. Hearing you and those random ponies say all the about me wasn't easy, but I needed to hear it. Several times over, actually. I didn't want to lose you as a friend. Come on, it would take a lot more than that to lose me. Our friendship is stronger than a few angry words and a magical temper tantrum. Listen. I'd take that over the boring pony you were becoming any day. The starlight I love is passionate. Sometimes angry. Those are my favorite parts of you. The ship is stronger than ever now. <laughs> I'll forgive you if you forgive me. Deal. <gasps> I remember what I was thinking about. It's in her room, isn't it? Or about how glad I am to have met you. And I remembered our first meeting here at the Ponyville Spa. Aww. And now I just have to teleport it back. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do not touch it. A little to the left. Oh, now rotate it just a hair. Hey, girls, how'd it go? Nothing. What? <laughs> lesson while you were gone. You barely graduated, and you're already taking initiative. Oh, so proud. Aww. About team building and problem solving. And when not to sing songs? Yeah. We certainly had a good time, but I really was looking forward to a spa day. And the Ponyville Spa is still open. Anyone? Sounds how good to me. So how often is Trixie going to show up in this season? Do you have a spell that will make the spa ponies forget that the map table was there? Haven't you learned anything about using magic to solve your problems? No. If we learn that lesson, how will we ever have fun? <laughs> that is great! That is great! I love it! That is awesome! That... Wow. <laughs> wow. So, who all was in here? Oh, so Rebecca Soychet was in here. Huh. Wow. That... That was great. Oh, that was... <laughs> oh, wow. I missed new episodes of this show. Um... Okay, so... I, I definitely feel like this one was the weaker of the two episodes, but in some sense of it, it was the more fun one because it was just a ridiculous fun episode. There was nothing too huge going on. Um, but yeah, as Trixie said, she needed to be told to shut up once in a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, the ship is stronger than ever. Um, Pretty pretty nice musical number, even though there was no real need for it in terms of, like, in the series. Like, in the show, there was no need for it. Um, outside the show, 
Of course there's a need for it. There's always a need for a musical number. The music in this show is excellent. Uh... Lost track of what I was thinking of right here. Um... I like that we got a little bit of explanation for why Bulk Biceps works different places at different times and does different stuff. Uh, that, that was pretty cute. Um, cute was the wrong word there. Cool. Whatever. Cute was Starlight and Trixie and all that. That was, yeah, cute. That, that is the right word for that. And, yeah, the metaphorical bottling up. There was no, like, big explosion from Starlight... Actually, no, there kind of was. We haven't seen her make that face since uh, part two of the cutie map. Holy crap. And that face right there, though, the veins in the neck popping out, that is kind of freaky. But overall, yeah, this was this was a fun one. Not quite as good. I think maybe 8. 8.3, 8.4, something like that. Not not the worst episode ever, but certainly not the best. Um, that said, how often are we going to be seeing Trixie in this season? Like, Starlight's a main character now, and Trixie is her best friend, but... What? I don't know. I, I kind of feel like it would be a little bit weird to just have all of a sudden Starlight and Trixie being... Or just have Trixie being there all the time. Starlight, maybe, but Trixie all the time? I don't know. That would be weird. Huh. But, uh... What else about this specific episode? Um, oh, I like... Yeah, I said it. The transitions were great. The duality of the two different plots going on at the same time and how each one would segue into the next with the contradictory or similar... Uh, things that the ponies were saying. And I, I love it when... St- stuff does that. Movies, TV shows, everything. Whenever they do that, it's always hilarious. Um, and this one pulled it off perfectly a, quite a few times in very quick succession to one another. Um, to the point where it almost broke the suspension of his belief, but not quite, and I like that. That is great. Uh, and it, it turned out pretty sweet at the end. I do think it's a little bit weird that the castle map can just be teleported away and have no ill effects to it, apparently. That's kind of weird. Because I I thought it was, like, magically connected to the uh, Tree of Harmony. But apparently that's not the case. Hmm. Weird. Or maybe maybe it was, and then Starlight disconnected it in the Season 5 finale... And then in uh, Spice Up Your Life, there they um, gave it its own power source, separate from the tree. That would make sense. Either way, I love watching this show. I love watching new episodes. I love reacting to it. It is. It, 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 this was just too freaking awesome. I, uh, yeah, I have not. I've been smiling a lot more lately, but I have not smiled this much in quite a while. And this is like. This is like a genuine smile right here. This is this is awesome. 